Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to quick review and also unbox this projector. You can see that the box is nicely designed and everything around it. I just want to mention that the name on this is called Milligia LED HD and this is a very mini projector. It comes with 800 lumens but let's just go through it. You can see that it's nicely designed once we open it. The components that are part of this is the actual projector itself also comes with an IR remote that you need it also comes with a little adapter for RCA also it comes with a power adapter which is 12 volt and 2 amps all right so once we take the projector itself out it looks really nice very compact a little shaky by the way but it's very lightweight so you can go around it it has a lot of ventilation around going on one side of it you have the sd card slot you have one little connection for av going on the back part of it you have the ir sensor then you have the vga connection so you could connect it to your computers and then you have two hdmi connections these are 1080p input and then you have a USB 2.0 port. Then you have a little headset jack. Right beside that you have the power connection. Again it is 12 volt and 2 amps. Going on the other side of it there's nothing there. Going on the bottom part of it it has a little part so you can hook it up on your tripod. And then nothing else. The sticker itself has some little mistakes too. It is made in China by the way. But you can see it only says 2 volt and 2 amps. It's incorrect. It's misprinted. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this. So make sure you connect it first. Remember that you need about a meter and a half in order for you to get something on the screen. And my God, I don't want to play with this. This is horrible. Do not even want to review it. But since we have already got into it this much, let's go through it. It is bad. I mean, really bad. You can see the pixels are so bad. This is the first review that I'm doing that is I'm giving really bad words to it. You can see it that it is just in square. Once we hook up our Android box to it, it just blew me away with so bad, again, picture quality on the wall itself. But since this gives me such a bad pixels, the pixels are so big that it's not even worth it. I have to mention that this is 340 by 800. Again, 340 is very small. We need at least 480p or 480i and we needed widescreen. So this is not going to cut it. Again, the box itself is very beautiful, but no, I am sorry, this is not going to cut it. This is horrible. All right, so again, it has all the buttons on the top. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Don't play video game with this. Yeah, it's so bad. It's, you have to make it very small screen in order to see it properly. Again, the pixels on that still doesn't look good. You can see it right now. So that was it for the review. We're not going to put any links where you can buy this from since this is very cheap. It's under $50. But again, it's good if you want to put big, big effects that you want to go up and down. Except that no, no, it's not going to cut it for putting the video on the wall. Put your questions in the bottom. We love to answer it. Except that don't forget to like our video. Also subscribe to our channel and thank you.